All right, we've got a question from our buddy Gino, who was dating a girl for five long years, and a year ago, he decided to break up with her because he felt that he needed to grow stronger on his own without her. Had nothing to do with a, being a bad relationship, he just felt that it was necessary for his personal evolution to move on. This was a year ago. He came to find, now he says, just yesterday, one of my best friends confessed to me that he's starting to fall in love with Gino's ex-girlfriend. Right? And this is fair. This is, it, it's totally fair play. She is fair game, for lack of better terms. But it's, and your friend is being honest with you. He's come and he's confessed and he says, look man, I know this is your ex-girlfriend. Apparently they've been talking or whatever the case may be and he's got warm feelings towards her. There's nothing wrong with this. But, there's it, nothing wrong with it here, right? You could, well, it's logical. Okay, you broke up with her, she's there, they're together, and that's fine. Here it's okay, logically it's fine. This is one of those times when, Elliot, the head, heart, and the balls have to be aligned. And sometimes one serves you better than the other. But you gotta know how to keep them working together in concert. The mind can rationalize, and sometimes you've gotta do that. Sometimes you've gotta tell yourself a story, rationalize the situation, and I think you have, right? The problem now is your heart and your balls. Your heart, the heart and the balls are saying, oh, I'm fucking angry, I'm pissed off, you're feeling lonely, were some of the descriptive words that you used. Angry, depressed, frustrated, lonely, self-doubt, hatred, he doesn't know how to cope with this. That's your heart and your balls. That's the animal part of you, that has, that, that's the emotional part of you, the feeling part of you. The part of you that this guy is somewhat detached from, but he is going to be a better servant for you in this particular situation. You've got to rationalize, and I'm sure that you can do this. Here's the thing now. We want to tie the heart and the balls back into where the mind is going. You see, the mind is a very good tool right now that you need to use in order to manipulate what's happening in your body. This is going to sound very strange, right? It may sound strange to some of you, to others of you, it won't sound that strange. I'm going to invite you to, number one, get out all of your heart's longings and promptings with them there. Go to your friend and say, look, before I spill all this out on you, we're, we're best friends, right? And uh, before I share any of this with you, I want you to know that I support, I support. The head supports what you're doing with my ex-girlfriend because it's all right. It is all right but I have some hurts in my heart that I want to share with you. Don't ask him to engage in a conversation about it and you don't need to engage in a conversation about it. All you need is the catharsis. All you need is to get it out. It's not right, it's not wrong, but it's in your heart. If he, if he starts trying to, to help you rationalize, it, that, this is not the time for it. This is not the time for rationalization. It's the time for catharsis. He's your friend and I believe he's your friend. He's going to appreciate, he's going to be there. He may think it's weird at first, but that's why you prefaced it the way you did when you start letting this all out on him, right? Because you both have to deal with it. You're best friends, she's there. It's like a weird love triangle, right? The, the best way to deal with most situations, relationship situations that we have is through honesty. It's getting it all out on the table. And you're doing just that. But again, that preface is very important. I'm not trying to ruin the situation with you and her. These things are in my body and I have to get them out and I need your help in allowing me to do it with you, right? And you may, I don't know what your relationship is with her, but I'm, I'm assuming at this point you're closer to your friend than you were with her. I don't know. You might want to do the same with her. Catharsis. Get it out with no intention to manipulate or change the situation for them. Explain that to them. I don't want to change what's happening. I just feel I need to get this out, right? That way you, you soften the burden on your heart. You soften the burden on your body, right? Because right now you're, you're, you're holding it in, you're tense, you are growing, you're stewing with this shit. And if you don't get it out, and you don't get it out in a resourceful way, then it's going to turn into something ugly. It's gonna manifest itself in all types of physical, physiological, and energetic fucked up shit that you don't wanna deal with. That's number one, you've got to get it out, catharsis. Hopefully you can do it in a safe, uh, situation with your friend. The second thing that you have to do, and this is the one that's going to sound some strange to some people and like duh to other people, you're going to need to pray for them. Pray for their happiness. Pray for their relationship. 
pray for their joy, bring good vibes, good feelings, extend good energy in their way. This way, you're not only softening the burden of your heart, but you're aligning it with your mind. When we pray, we literally take the concrete ability of our mind and we tie it to our hearts. That's what prayer is. Prayer has more of a personal transformative effect than it does outside of us. And really we are the energetic magnet for what happens extrinsically in our lives. So the, the stronger you are, the stronger the tie between your head and your heart, the better things are gonna show up around you. That's the power of prayer, is the fact that it changes your energy. And energy vibrates and does shit that we don't even understand outside of us, all over the place. Right? And that's, that's for a totally different quantum physics talk, right? Spiritual slash quantum physics. Like, there's this shit that just happens that we don't understand. Vibrations and waves and particles that are just popping and flipping all over the place, right? But how do we manipulate that? Through our own meditation, through our own prayer, through the alignment of our own energy and aligning with the type of feelings that we want, which are good feelings and you're going to line up your head with your heart, or vice versa, line up your heart with your head, because the, the head knows this is okay. The heart is still feeling. Line it up with the head's intention through prayer and extend good feelings their way. Whatever happens with them is up to the universe, it's up to God, it has nothing to do with you any longer. You made peace with it. You, you passed on her, you gave her up. This is your friend, he's allowed to have feelings towards her. Get all the emotional shit out and pray for their goodness because that goodness is going to make its way back to you.